Technology and the human race are advancing and constantly improving, but physical wallets weren't. Not until now. This is the Exter Wallet, a modernized wallet that's slimmer than regular buy or try folds. Depending on the model, you can add a tracker, you can even go slimmer, or you can go for feature rich for extra benefits. In today's video, we'll cover all the models Exter offers, go into their pros and cons, and cover feedback and wishlist items. We'll determine if upgrading from a standard wallet is a good investment. This video is sponsored by Exter, who are kind enough to send samples. The ideas, feedback, and content are entirely original. The Exter lineup consists of card holders, wallets, accessories, it would be easier to understand the products, as the viewers, if we cover all of the features that Exter offers and then mix and match the features to get to the products. So here are the features. The pièce de résistance of all of the Exter wallets and card holders, the RFID protected card holder. It is a piece of machined 6063 T5 aluminum that encloses your important cards and blocks RFID signals. You know tap to pay that's on most new credit cards? Thieves can actually tap the your back or side pockets with a machine and steal your credit cards. So what this does is block all signals so your cards are safe when they're in your pocket. The extra already paid for itself. The card holder has a proprietary lever mechanism so that there are no springs involved and holds four to six cards depending on their thickness, raised letterings, and materials. There's a fancy card eject trigger, which pulls the lever inside the mechanism and injects your cards. The elastic strap, which features an ingrained extra logo in leather and a standard strap that can hold either a few cards, money, or identification. An outside pocket, which is a bit bigger than a standard card. Inner pockets, which are ID sized which are good for insurance information or business cards. And last but not least, an AirTag holder, which clips in an AirTag if you'd like to add AirTag capabilities and easily locate your wallet worldwide. We'll start with the AirTag wallet because it has all the features. Here are Chad's thoughts on the AirTag wallet. For the Exter, I used a regular leather wallet for compartment for my cash and other small items, as well as slots to hold my cards. I received the AirTag Black Leather Extra Wallet. I've had the Extra Wallet for a few weeks now. My first impression is that it's a very sleek, compact design. Great for holding a few cards that you would like to keep on your person at all times, such as ID. So far, I would say that it's a very good wallet for those that don't have too many cards or too many items that they like to hold on them at all times in their wallet. Otherwise, it may be worth it to get a bigger wallet. Thanks, Chad. If we trim one feature, the AirTag holder, we arrive at the staple of Exter's lineup, the Parliament Brown Leather Wallet. All of Exter's lineup items are similarly packaged, a minimalistic pleasant design on a simple black cardboard box. Inside a fancy packaging reveals the wallet with its beautiful leather, and this is the wallet I've been using. If you've never used an Exter wallet, it is super simple to figure out. The main storage compartment already has a few cards inside showing you Exter's socials and referring you to their website, and additional instructions and warranty information. The wallet has a larger pocket on the outside, two ID-sized pockets on the inside, a strap with nice leather detail on the inside, and the trigger mechanism on the bottom and the cards come out the top. I used this one and can say that while it did take some adjustment, it felt like using a sleek, fashionable, and modern wallet. My previous wallet was a slim bifold, which had no RFID protection, so compared to that, the extra was narrower and a bit thicker when fully loaded and felt more like a stack of credit cards than a backfold bifold. My old bifold and the extra both made access to the ID easy. Although Exter won this by a slight margin because I store my ID in the main strap on the inside on the Exter. And since money doesn't fit too well inside the Exter without folding it a lot, it was easier to remove the ID from the Exter than from my bifold. 
Similarly, I used the inside pockets to store my insurance information, which was easier than my old wallet because previously the insurance cards were behind the ID and buried back in there. The extra card holder does take some adjustment, and you need to put your more frequently used cards at the front and the back of the stack to get to them as quickly and easily. I liked that the cards were accessible with the push of a trigger rather than reaching in, and it gave me something to play with when waiting in lines. There was about as much finagling between getting cards I don't use as often from my bifold as well as my exter. The old bifold won in the category of cash management with its nice big pocket for it. With the exter, I had to devise a new system of keeping my larger bills in the back and sorting all of them when I'm putting them back in. I store the bills in the outside pocket on the parliament wallet since that's the next best natural spot for them. Since inside, the fold causes the extra to get too big. I'm not the biggest fan of having my money be outside the wallet, but so far I have yet to lose any money. The old bifold also won in the category of coin management. When I get change from using cash, I could put them in the wallet. Now, I awkwardly carry coins in my pocket and look for the first opportunity to dispose of them and put them in my piggy bank for bringing to the bank eventually to exchange for cash. The carbon fiber card holder and the aluminum card holder in Forged Ember are similar in that both have the main RFID protection system and both have an extra strap. They trim the inner and outer pockets that we just saw on the wallets. These are much sleeker and feel much more modern compared to the extra wallets. They still hold cash, so I might have to recommend these more if you're looking for a transformation in your card experience. The card holders can hold ID and important cards still on the inside, and the cash in the strap on the outside. Here are Emma's thoughts on the aluminum card holder in Forged Ember. Before using Exter, I used a leather wallet for Madewell. I've been using the special edition aluminum card holder in Forged Ember for three months now. It's very sleek and compact and can easily fit in my pocket, unlike my previous wallet. It's held up great and the cards easily pop up and are easy to access. The front slot is great to quickly access one card, but it's tricky to get it back in the slot. I would absolutely recommend Extra to a friend and I would choose Extra again because it's so much easier to carry around and doesn't take up much room in my purse or pocket. Chris received the carbon fiber card holder. I was given the extra card holder wallet as a gift from a friend. The max capacity for the wallet is 6 cards, and I'm somebody who routinely carries, you know, their license, their debit card, multiple credit cards, insurance info, and gift cards. So I've been kind of using this more as a travel slash condensed wallet when I don't want or need to bring everything with me, such as, you know, like when I go to the gym or when I travel. If you were someone who has, you know, 6 or less cards, this wallet would definitely be something that you could use every day. Uh, what I like most about it is when you click the trigger to eject the cards, the cards get pushed out in a staggered fashion. Um, so it's super easy to see and pick the card that you need. It's actually faster and easier to get to the cards uh, that I need than a normal leather wallet. Uh, I've never had a wallet like this before, so I was initially a little skeptical of how secure the cards might be. But no matter how few cards there are in the wallet, even if there's just one, it won't fall out if you shake it or if you drop it. Uh, so I like how this wallet has an elastic band around the outside, which allows you to, to carry and you know, hold cash, which is, you know, pretty convenient. And I'm someone who's paranoid when it comes to security, and uh, it's made out of material that blocks uh, RFID signals. So, you know, anybody that's trying to wirelessly access your cards, they won't have access to the chip that's in them. So overall, you know, I think that this is a sleek, pretty modern, uh, definitely secure wallet that if you have, you know, less than six cards, it could definitely be used as an everyday wallet. It also comes with the option to add a tracker card when you purchase it, which I would definitely highly recommend that because shamefully, you know, I'm somebody who's misplaced their wallet more times than I can count. So this feature is definitely a lifesaver. Thanks, Chris. If you imagine a solar powered air tag, you get Exter's tracker card, one of the coolest innovations in the wallet space. It has its own app and features that you can basically think of as a solar powered air tag that fits in a wallet. You can put this tracker card in an Exter or in a regular bifold that holds a credit card. On the Exter, it goes in the outer pocket and have a solar powered tracker that rings when you need it to and uses worldwide crowdsourced GPS the same way air tags work. This only needs three hours of sunlight to last two months. To get it up and running, download the Chipolo app from the App Store on Android or iPhone, double tap the Exter logo on the card, turn on Bluetooth, and in the Chipolo app, connect the tracker card, select Exter from the list of products, and you're good to go. It will go through a brief pairing process, searching for, adding, 
This is how the card rings when you've lost your wallet. You can also ring your phone, but we won't play that sound, just in case that sound is copyrighted. Your phone is loud, it's audible, and you don't have to have any apps open for it to successfully ring. This is me spitballing ideas that would be super cool. I did not put too much thought into implementation details, it came up with these purely as a consumer. A little window on the wallet for the extra tracker card would be cool, so it can charge without me having to take the tracker card out. An integrated tracker card in the wallet itself would be nice. And since the tracker card has a battery, the ability to plug your phone in if you need to in an emergency to get to a 2 or 3% charge to make a call would be awesome. In conclusion, I was a little hesitant and uncomfortable with the handling cash adjustment, but after having used the extra for the past month, I don't want to go back to a regular wallet. Overall, the extra wallets are the next step in evolution between the wallets of yesterday and handling payments in today's day and age. You might encounter some hurdles if you heavily rely on cash or coins, but extra's value proposition of added security, modernity, and trackability more than make up for it. If you're not fully ready to commit to a slimmed wallet, they also offer the extra tracker card, and that way you can add track into your wallet without changing how you use it. Use the code RUSLAN at checkout for an additional discount at Extra's site, linked below in the description. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a terrific day.